continue the sessions uh, with uh, sequence jobs. Now we'll go with uh, activities, some other activities like uh, start loop activity and loop activity and user variable activity. And we'll see one scenario. So first to start with start loop activity and loop activity. What purpose we do this start loop activity and end loop activity? Uh, normally in this uh, latest versions, we have looping concept in the transformer. But in the initial versions of uh, data stage, we don't have a looping concept. So in that case, if we want to perform the loop uh, loops process, we need to go with this start loop, loop activity and end loop activity. How they do work we see now. And uh, next we'll uh, see some other part of the session. Okay, so here either if you have general start loop activity triggers condition, triggers we discussed, uh, but here we don't have more discussion or more to see the triggers condition. So the start loop activity, we can loop it in two ways. One is loop loop, uh, loop way and the other one is list of loop. You can browse your file. You can browse your file or you can specify the file. So we can do uh, using these options, okay? But now in this case, I don't have a file. I have a numeric value. How to run by default, I'll tell you. For example, I have a, a job which I want to make it to run for three times. So I want to run this transformer job for three times. So I called a job into this job 24. And in this job, I'm going to I'm going to call a transformer job activity and this job should run how many times? Three times, exactly three times. So I'm compiling this job and it is asking to save this job. Okay, here what I'll do, I'll make as um, start and start loop activity, end loop activity. And next I want to give the user variable activity even user variable activities so i want to discuss this uh, in this job and what is the job number uh, i want to provide a one job two three four fourth job then before we have seen some jobs okay so now i'm giving compile and i want to run so when i want to run i will go for the sequencer so this job is running and as well the start and loop user activity user variable activity is even running. So this is a default uh, concept of start loop activity and loop activity. Okay. So start loop activity and loop activity. How many times I have defined? Three times. Step one from step one, one. From one, step one, two, three times. Now if I go for the activity, this job will should run three times. So that is what I mentioned and we'll see in this uh, sequencer log three times the job has scheduled three times has job run. So this is about the start loop activity and loop activity doesn't have anything. Just what will happen if you see this two, three times or five times or ten times based on those many of the times completion of this job execution it will throw a uh, hint to start loop activity to stop the job loop because it is already done whatever the loop we have. So that is a backend process and loop activity in order to uh, give any uh, description or anything in order to do just put end loop activity and out of the job and give this uh, link to start loop activity. So that end loop activity send a request to start loop stop start loop activity to stop the job to execute after completion of the two number. So that is what uh, end loop activity does. And start loop activity is to start a job and run for these many of times. It starts from step one, step two, step one, and uh, how many times? This is by default. We as a user, you define these values. So the two ways we can give the loop concept even. Okay, so numeric is my option as of now. So now this job ran for three times. But here I have a case where 
maybe this loop activity i cannot tell how many times should run it should be automated i cannot give the odd value as 10 in the looping transformer looping even first of all we had a job with the transformer looping concept what we did uh, we have defined a, a iteration uh, iteration uh, to be iteration to be uh, four times something like that we have given the loop should happen four times it is not here i don't have looping i have so separately did in a separate job okay uh, so that job should uh, that iteration should have happen four times hard coded but later i given with d count and all like like that we need to specify now for example i have a file and in that file if i have how many records those many times that job should execute so here i have a command i'm going to provide a command in the execute command in the execute command activity in the previous stage we have seen we have given what uh, file name sorry wc hyphen l and the file name i'm providing and the provided file name is loop.txt so this is my file and here i don't want to specify this ws panel and in this now i want to get the output so how do i get an output means in every variable you can call the r before variable activities output command output so the output of the command if you put here you can execute the output of this wc ifrl code will come into this activity in the two condition what you can do you can run those many times of this job we'll compile now then see whether it is going to run so i compile job got aborted because why it's got aborted we'll see so it is giving five that's fine that uh, character should be fine so here what happened the output command output of execute command output is this what happened here the d the file path is even presenting but what happened here in the start loop activity i given execute a command output and we are doing numeric loop numeric loop so what is the error see now cannot execute it loop final value not numeric because of this string whatever you are getting here okay this is making a problem for us so for that what i can do is we can execute uh, the command uh, in a such a way i should define like this for example cat file name pipe wc hyphen l how does the unix commands work from left to right so cat will execute first and it will list out the file and after this it will find out the wc hyphen l the file code now we will see whether it will work or not oh again again the job got aborted now we will see what happened this is previous flow previous run and now we'll see again okay see now the output is five but it is saying loop value not numeric again means the space whatever it is getting that may it may make a problem i guess you will see yeah whatever the issue you are getting in the space we are getting okay so the space value it is taking and it is taking it as a numeric value okay no it's not a numeric value it is saying so now to get this output to make it into a uh, numeric exact value what i'll do i'll take an a variable a user variable activity which i am taking newly here so this user variable activity what we can do with this we can define a new variable so in this i'll give the loop number loop count the uh, loop count So in this loop code, what expression I can do? I want to convert this into. Uh, I want to remove the spaces and everything, and I want to convert it into a numeric. So I want to make first of all spaces. I want to remove. So for that, I'll use trim function. So this is one of the scenario where you can understand how much way you can use uh, uh, the transformer activities. Even you here, you can see okay activity variables you can use. So user variable activity. Now I want to convert that. when which way i want to convert that string value with spaces i am getting that i want to make it into numeric 
so there is a option here a field mod modifier system variable activity field mod modifier which can take the spaces miss space i'm defining taking that space define take that space and uh, i want to convert that into term modifier field modifier with spaces i want to remove and then i want to convert that in the output of uh, execute command activity i want to make it here so this is what the expression i want to provide so i have did that we'll see now this uh, so trim it converts trim it will remove the spaces and convert a field modifier means it is converting a value which is in space into a numeric so field modifier modifier does into a numeric value so execute command output value what i am getting now i need to call that user variable variable here user variable activity loop count into this uh, output condition and now we will see whether the execute command property will execute properly or not this scenario will execute or not okay it's running now we will see running so total how many times this execute command activity is having this file is having five records okay that's what the output we had before right so still it is running means it is executing properly only the value whatever i required that our value is coming properly exactly i hope so that is the reason it is running we'll see how many times five times it should run one two three four five yes so five times it ran that is the way we can use this look activities so now uh, we'll see the output of uh, uh, how did that variable output execute command variable output uh, how it executed see see exactly five it is coming so because of this uh, five exactly then the command output is running properly okay so the five we have uh, converted so we converted that into numeric and that no proof we can given to the start loop activity so iteration one is happening see one the one from one to uh, step one i have given but two i did not provide i provided through a file name output the execute command output so five times it ran so this is what uh, a looping concept uh, in the transformer uh, sorry in the data stage and in the transformer looping concept is not there before in the latest in the older versions but uh, uh, we, we should do looping in this way before but now we have transformer looping so we can reduce the complexity of the sequencers in some topics of data stage okay here you can loop this job for a number of times that is also one process okay and thanks uh, thanks for your time and here user variable activity you need to understand if we can add any number of variables and you need to perform some operations like this to convert exactly integer value or to some get an output of some uh, variable and all like this if you want you can use this user variable activity okay so we'll come with a new concept in the next scenario next session and thanks for watching this video thanks for your time